Window Wonderland is a window projector system that transforms your window into a festive display. That's today's review, so let's check it out. Window Wonderland is a projector that will project Halloween and Christmas images, six of each, onto your window. Now the first step according to the instructions is to pick a window, measure it, clean the surface, and then cut out this included screen to fit the window. So I'm going to do that and get started. This is the window that faces the front of my house, so this is the one I'm going to use. Alright, so now the window was measured and cleaned off, so now I have to open up the screen, cut it to size, and then put it in place. Alright, the window I'm covering is 56 inches by 44 inches. Got it measured out. I'm going to cut the screen out and put it up. So I got the screen cut out to the appropriate size. Now I have to use these to attach it to the window. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, the adhesives are on all four corners. Now let's go put it up in the window. All right, so I've got the adhesive off the backs of all four of these. I'm gonna go put it in my window, and then we're gonna try it out for the first time. So here we go. I have to be careful because these adhesives, I don't want them to hit anything. Now my problem is I have these blinds up here which are kind of in the way. Ugh. That's, that one's good. That's good. Good, and good. That wasn't as hard as I expected. I've got the Window Wonderland set up. I'm using the included stand, but it can also be used with a tripod. But I use the stand, and it's pointed at the window, so I'm gonna have to get an extension cord because the cord's only about three feet long. Plug it in, and then we're ready to go. All right, it's almost dark outside. According to these, this chart here, I'm gonna have to put it as much as 12 feet away from the uh, the window. Okay, it's almost dark outside. Let me turn on the switch. Okay, well, obviously I need to back up. Okay, I'm backing up, I'm backing up. Wow, I'm way, I'm way back here. Okay, I'm actually at the other side of the room and it's just not even filling the window up yet. I'm actually at the door. Okay, that's, that's about as good as I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna have to put a tripod right here and then get it going. I had to put the Window Wonderland all the way in the door on this tripod to show over there, which I'm gonna turn the light off and get it set up, but that's how far away I had to put it to accurately project on this window. All right, I finally got it aimed at the window. So I took the Window Wonderland out front, toggled through all the different movies, and here's how they looked. All right, here's the Halloween. That actually looks pretty good. It's not real bright, but it's not it's not as dim as I feared it would be. All right, we're going to toggle through all of these and see how they look. I don't like the fact that the a lot of the action occurs right in the center where you've got that window pane at. See, it's not terribly bright, 
but it's it's definitely visible from the street. She's uh, inside. She's toggling through all of them right now, about ten seconds each. That one's pretty cool. We're back to that one again. The chainsaw massacre guy. That's kind of cool. Now it looks like we are on Christmas. It's funny, it's probably 104 degrees outside right now. I got Christmas in my window. So you can you can see it. It's it's not really that bright. Maybe I'll turn my outside lights off to try to get a little bit darker. There's a Santa Claus. It's puppies. I'm gonna say it's not quite as bright as it shows in the commercial, but it's, it's certainly viewable. Like that's kind of hard to see, but it's pretty cool. It's festive. I might go through this one more time when it's pitch black. It's almost dark right now. All right, I got my outside lights off, and it's completely dark outside now. So that's how it looks. It's not quite as bright as I would have liked, but it's not bad. It's pretty cool, I think. Definitely can see it from the street. Kids are walking by for Halloween. They would definitely know that you're uh, in the Halloween spirit, so that's kind of cool. Get a closer look at what we're seeing here. There is a way to focus it. I'm, it's kind of hard to focus from the inside. That seemed to be as about as in focus as I could get it, but I might have to mess around a little bit more. It's like each video is about 10 seconds. So it's a pretty short loop, but it does look pretty cool. I'm going to go over a few of the features of Window Wonderland. As you can see right here, here's the buttons on the device. If you want to have it horizontal, you turn the power on this way. Off is in the center, and if you want to run it vertically, you turn the power on that way. And then you press the Halloween button for one of six movies there, the Christmas button for one of six movies there. Uh, you can focus it by turning this. But one thing I notice is if, if it's all the way out, the lens cap doesn't go on. So you have to put that back down to put the lens cap on. Here is the power input. This is an auxiliary audio output. There is audio. I didn't run it outside because it's going to be kind of a challenge to run the audio outside because you have to run it from here all the way to the front of your house, which I didn't do. But I will show you how the sound is um, in a quick demonstration right here on the bottom. You can turn this to adjust the angle, and this can go into the included base, or it can go into a regular tripod. All right, I'm going to show you the Window Wonderland just, just on my wall to show you how the audio sounds. I'll turn it on vertical. Then it repeats. Try it. All right, so you get the idea how the audio sounds. Again, to me, the challenge for the audio is going to be running it from here to the front of your house um, and what are you gonna, where are you going to put your speakers at. So that's the challenge that some people will probably run it without the sound, but it is there if you want to run it. And just keep in mind it's on a pretty short loop, maybe about 10 seconds per video. And it doesn't automatically toggle through. Once you set it for a video, that's the one you're going to keep playing over and over again. All right, say the holidays are over and now it's time to take the screen down. Okay, didn't leave any residue. That's good. See, that's going to be, that's going to be a problem. Now the question becomes what to do with these four sticky corners. And that's what I got to figure out. Now my problem is what to do about this when I store the screen for the next year. 
I mean, that's not really coming off very well. I feel like I'm, I'm going to tear a hole there. So that's a problem. I'm not even sure really what the best solution is because when I pull this off, as you can see, it's starting to it's starting to pull a hole in there. So I'm not even sure if the screen is reusable. Here are some of the things I like about Window Wonderland. First of all, it's pretty cool. It, it covers Halloween and Christmas. It's not really very hard to install. It accommodates vertical and horizontal windows, and it can be used with a tripod or the included mount. Now, what I don't necessarily like as much about Window Wonderland, number one, is it's kind of dim. Dimmer than I would expect based on the advertising. Also, once you remove it from the window, the two-sided tape kind of stays on the screen, and you're kind of stuck with it. When I try to remove it, it was starting to tear a hole in it, so I end up putting the paper backing on back on the tape, which is probably only a limited solution. Also, once you cut the screen to a certain window, you can't really move it to a window of a different shape because you physically cut it to a specific size. The sound is pretty cool, but it's limited only because it's going to be so far from the unit itself to where people are watching it. I'm not sure how feasible that's going to be unless you can get a pretty long auxiliary cord and some speakers outside the house. Well, that's all I've got. What do you think about Window Wonderland? Would you pay the $60 that I paid for it at Walgreens? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.